All right, Hemocomics here. Next episode, Hemocomics transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail. Basically, me reacting to a bunch of screen caps on YouTube and the DeviantArt that are in response to comments I made against the Deviant lifestyles and a few other things. Trigger warning. Uh, yeah. So, you know, always people being like, but, but what? You know, you know this, this thing that is not a choice, or it is their choice whether they choose <laughs> to do this or not. You know, I'm like, uh, you know, and then it's like, someone's saying, like, well, this isn't a choice. We can't choose to feel or not feel this. I'm like, yeah, but you can choose how you react to it. Mm-mm, you know, uh, coming at me, going like, what? <laughs> this a thing? How dare you? Say that's a thing. Oh, yeah. One. I see here. Someone else says that's not what the plus means. Uh, someone says uh, uh, it's people like you that make trans people want to kill themselves even more than they already do because I say stop lying about your radical sex. I don't want to. <laughs> you know, just let people be happy through lies. No, and just deal with the fact that people are different through lies. I'm like no. You have no idea what you go through on a daily basis. Mm, mm, you know, mm. you no idea what it's like to be judged based on your appearance. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, stop. You know, you know, stop this and be supportive of lies. No. Mm, mm. You can be saving people's lives, which I'm doing by telling you to do this. Yeah. Uh, but instead, you choose to end them through lies, <laughs> through truth, <laughs> by telling the truth, by helping people wake up out of their fantasies. Mm, yeah. Stop it. Like, no. Mm, mm. Do the end them? How do I end them? When they choose to end them, I choose to tell the truth. <laughs> they choose to react to the truth wrongly and go. You know, it's like this guy is so obvious. Hero Cox, this guy is so obviously a troll. It's hard to watch your guys reason with him. Just ignore this troll. Yeah, he has been trolling for years, years and years. You know, like Tucker Carlson. You know, hopefully you'll uh, go right and land on your feet, Mr. Carlson. You know, he was a sensationalist, but dang, you got freaking fired. Dang. Uh, let's ignore this troll. For example, he replies to this comment. Well, I will just ignore it because you know I want to stay in my fantasy. <laughs> Stay in my fantasy. Stay in Wonderland. I want to stay in Oz. <laughs> you know. Don't no, sorry. Evil who want to understand it do. Don't take a homophobe seriously. What? Don't sorry. And I say yeah. That laser focus on how. <laughs> that laser focus on how the Bible says that transgender life and you know, homosexual lifestyles are wrong. That has been going on for years. A simple troll. No one actually believes that way except for me and all the other people who do. <laughs> And I say, not really. The sooner you stop laying this for you and push you around, the better. <clears throat> so it says, no, they choose to end them. They don't have to. They can learn to accept their bodies as God made them. Stretch out. Got it. So it says, here it No, God did not make them. Mommy did. And so it says, you actually know how this for you feels? I assume you're not trans. Uh, I say, how do you think design mom and dad's bodies? <laughs> yeah. Also, dysphoria is fear. It feels like any other fear. Mm-hmm. You know, I get a nice paragraph here of mm-hmm. uh, probably how dysphoria is not fear, even though it exactly looks like, and feels exactly like fear. Mm-hmm. It's fear. But well, his, his source says, listen, most French people do not hate their bodies. When they, they do. Mm-hmm. They say they do. Mm-hmm. People say may say it's wrong because of this normative society we live in because um, it's, the comfortable skin is the way it is, you know. But you can't just make this for you go away, you know. You can say no to it. It's like saying depression, just be happy, you know. People around us are still being like very transphobic and cis normative, so you can't just not hate yourself and your body in a minute. <laughs> Just hate yourself and your body. Didn't you just say people, most trans people do not hate their bodies? Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can. Mm, yeah, learn that. How I know transitioning is the best cure for dysphoria and there's no other alternatives? And also, wait. How I know transitioning is the best cure for dysphoria and there are no other alternatives? Mm. And also, many people experience dysphoria, dysphoria along with disassociation, whatever, bullcrap. Mm, just with like this, in severe cases, you can not feel or forget about their bodies through lies. Mm, yeah. They don't even hate them. They, they do hate them. <coughs> They're saying brain ignoring the body because it develops separately from the brain or not. No, impossible. You know, you know what the nervous system is? <coughs> you, know, you know what that stuff is? <laughs> no, this is psychological. Yep. Do you think these people are, really, after reading this crap, you're filling these for their eyes with, will magically become mentally healthy? Do you have critical thinking? <coughs> 
So I said, oh, are you trans? So I said, well, God did. I just wanted to make it, you know, you know wanted you to make your proper credit. God is a designer, but apparently was suffering these nine months and going that fetus, mm, you know, sad, you know, like, uh, sigh, you know, sad sigh emoji. Mm, you know. And I said, yes, I do. But why would you say about trans people? It sounds like they don't. You can resist this for you. It's important you to do so. It is lying to you. Mm-hmm. The one that says, you know, guys, why are you like this? Why are you so transphobic? Mm, the, the lies must stop. Mm. Just stop it now. I don't know how to make it more clearer. You are killing people by telling them to stop messing around with this nasty stuff that's killing them. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. God did it. Being so childish well, by telling the truth and saying reality is what's real, fantasy is not what's real, you can't have that. You can't have that. Leave it alone. Let's go on. Focus on what's real. <laughs> It's killing people because I say it is. Mm, I don't care what your crappy Bible says about it. You are a murderer because you know you say telling the truth and people are saying no. I'm not going to tell the truth. I'm going to keep going with these lies and then dying is your fault because I say it is. And someone says, "Oh, you know something else? You don't understand at all. Feels you're not understanding or supportive. So just f off." I'm going to cuss. I got rid of that word. And someone says, "I say, oh, uh, someone says you're right. They do. Mm-mm. Wait, same person." You're right, they too choose to end themselves uh-huh, in this thing, being trans is not a choice, yeah. Because of people like you who make them feel so horrible that ending it all is the better option than being alive because of what you've been saying, because I'm sorry, you know, you know I'm like, when someone thinks that way, that's a pretty huge problem, you know, because they're thinking, no, 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 the fantasy, my fantasy, my fantasy going away, no, I have to live in reality, no, you know, that's what they're doing, mm. You're such a stubborn. You know, you're such a stubborn. Uh, link, you know, you don't care about. You know, or I link that. You know, here's a link to some stuff that shows what, what, why we need to do this lies. Why we need to say lies. We need to do nasty stuff. And I say, well, that's psychotic. Why die? Because your body works like it's supposed to. These people clearly need help, and I will give it to them. Yeah, then I say, so they discovered that stereotypes exist and that people can follow them. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Doesn't change the fact that the stereotypes can be wrong. And people are unique individuals and they can do things differently than the stereotypes dictate. Mm-hmm. So we'll say some can't because they choose not to. Mm-hmm. Because it's not up to you to decide. Well, it's up to them to decide. Mm-hmm. You know, let people do what they want with their bodies. No. Mm-hmm. When it's wrong. Mm-hmm. Can't or won't, I say. Mm-hmm. Both mm-hmm. can't, won't. Mm-hmm. Why should people, why should people have to be unhappy when they can change things about themselves to be more comfortable with their bodies through lies, by hair to itself? Why do you think you get to have control over other people, Christian? Well, they can't be happy, they won't be happy through lies. Dysphoria isn't something that you get to say, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. It doesn't just go away, but it is a thing that you must fight against. Is wrong. I said, but seeing as it is lying to you, you can resist its influence. It is not. It is wrong. Not your body. And there are some things about your body that you should not try to change. Mm-mm, no, I should not try to change skin color. No, I should not try to change that. No, because it's normal. Mm-mm, you know, mm, same stuff. Because so this fame and dysphoria isn't something that goes away. You can't resist its influence. You can't. Mm-mm, you can't mm-mm. Ignore it will not make it go away. I'm not saying ignore it. I'm saying resist it. Mm-hmm, different story. Mm-hmm. Yes, people can decide not to transition. But some people need to because of lies. Mm, you know, why? Well, who are you to decide what well, some things you shouldn't try to change? I don't know, a person talking the truth. Mm. So it says, "Did you say the same comment twice? Left my butt off." Mm. And what the heck do you mean? It's not a body. It literally is. Mm. Mm. Yeah, basically, yeah, someone was deleting my comments mm. like a punk. Mm. So I was like, "Nope, gotta get over there." Go if you a little bit to left. Let's do it. Wow, you're discussing with people for like 10 months. That's kind of impressive. I'm religious. A person also a trans boy, so getting it wrong. Mm, girl wants to be a boy. It's the line about her sex. Sometimes God makes people suffer so they can be stronger and let up for God can be deeper. Mm, yeah. No, he doesn't. Mm, mm, nope. Uh, mm, the world is the world. You got to deal with it. What if being trans is that kind of suffering? It ain't. Mm, that does involve lying. I mean, lying lives an abomination to the Lord. They do the truth light. So, sorry. Lying would not be part of his lifestyle. Mm. Hey, God, with lowercase g, he wants some people to fight for their happiness through lies. Mm. Why should we forbid someone to be happy? Mm. Because it's lies. Mm. You know? Through lies. Mm. I guess it's because it's lies, friends. Mm. 
A few years ago, I was homophobic and transphobic, but I've met a lot of different people, and I understood that we are all just people. You're actually different, and that's cool. Mm, you know, too cool. Mm, you know. Actually, sometimes 